Greetings, fellow productivity seekers. Garland Coulson, Captain Time here. And in this video, we're going to do a review of Upnote, which is a note-taking program. So I've used lots of note-taking programs in the past. I've used Evernote. I had been currently using OneNote, and then I came across Upnote. Love the interface, very nice and clean, uh, very easy to use. Uh, we'll do a quick tour here. Up top, of course, you've got your search. Quick search will do a search within whatever notebook you're in, but then you're given the option to also search all notebooks. Over in the left-hand side here is where you have your notebooks, and you can create uh, sub-notebooks, uh, nested notebooks, which I love. So under personal, you see I have multiple notebooks here. And that gives me a great way to be able to organize it rather than just one level. You've got filters up here that you can create additional ones. So you can filter your notes uh, by, you know, words that it contains, if it contains to-do items, if it's notes updated today, etc. Uh, and you can also pin things to the quick access area as well. Next panel over, we have the notes within that particular notebook. And then, of course, we have the note itself. If you want to see the just the note and be able to focus on just the note, you can click on it. And then it will open up in focus mode. I love the formatting options it gives you. It gives you uh, the ability to create checklists, as you can see here, and to tick them off. It uh, gives you rich formatting, so you can create uh, headings, uh, bold, italic, underline, highlighting, and you can access any of these by just right-clicking, and you can see it gives you your heading options, format options, alignment, type of list, whether it's bullet point, number list, uh, text color, highlighting color, quotes, links, dividers, etc. So it gives you a lot of information uh, here as well. Uh, great way to format. Uh, you can add an image quite easily uh, here, or you can just by clicking up on top, you can go ahead and add an image. You can add quotes. It's got a special formatting for quotes, for code block, for tables. Some of these are premium features, but premiums very inexpensive on this. It was under $20 when I upgraded a one-time fee. You can sync your notes across devices. So it works on iPhone, iPad, Mac, Windows, and Android. So I'm currently using it on Windows and on my Android phone. Uh, filtering we've talked about. I love the bi-directional feature. If you click uh, on the brackets twice, then you can click link to any other note that you've created within the system. So this makes it a great way to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to add other notes that you want to connect to. Down here in the bottom, it shows what notebooks this one's a, a member of. So this one's uh, in the personal notebook in the Upnote training. If I to untick that, now it will just be in the Upnote training area. So it's not in the other one as well. Down here again, it gives you another option to be able to get the formatting, but you know you can easily get it with the right click as well. And the info just gives you some more information, your word count, table of contents of this area, etc. If you go up to settings, uh, it gives you some ways to control, you know, how you want to sort the notes, it gives you a lot of import and export options, import from Evernote, Markdown, import from HTML, import from text. And you can also uh, work in Markdown for those of you who are interested, you can work in Markdown as well. And again, you can export text, HTML, PDF, or Markdown. So lots of uh, those options as well. Uh, trash where your recent deleted ones are there. So overall, it's just a great, really nice system to work in. Very clean interface, uh, very inexpensive. Uh, and this is fast taking over from OneNote as my daily driver. Hope you've liked this review. Uh, I plan to do more in-depth work with Upnote, including how to set up your own personal knowledge uh, database within uh, Upnote. So look forward to that in future. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you get notices when I put up new information about Upnote or any of the other productivity things I do. Thank you so much for listening.